Hi everybody, it's Justina, also known as Alma Blockchain on Twitter, and I'm here at the Futures Conference in Toronto with Greg. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's the one of the most beautiful settings of any conference I've ever been to. I don't know if they can see the background, but like CN Tower and just Toronto skyline in the summer is unreal. And Vitalik's here today, so, you know, it's great. We have a lot going for us, I would say, for sure. For sure. So thanks for joining me. I just wanted to um, give a little bit of background to the audience, what Anchor is, how, what it does, and how it's integrating into other protocols in the space. Sure. So uh, Anchor is kind of like a layer zero to all the blockchains that are layer ones that most people know. And so we, we support about 17 of the top 25 proof of stake blockchains. So Phantom, Avalanche, Arbitrum, Polygon, uh, you name it, they usually use Anchor's RPC service. And so what that means is anytime you go on use MetaMask or you go on a DAP or um, they're connecting to a blockchain and pulling data, that's really going through Anchor. So Anchor's doing the back end that's allowing all these DAPs to go through an RPC service. We run that RPC. Uh, and so we, we kind of help power the industry and make it work faster and, and better is what we like to think of. Wonderful. And so like, uh, like I saw you integrate with Polkadot. So is that what you've explained how it works? Yeah, so... But they're also a layer zero, so... Well, Polkadot's a layer one, right? And so uh, we we basically help Polkadot run their blockchain. So Polkadot has their own system of nodes, and we just have our own system as well. We integrate with their current system, and we help it run better and faster. And so when people access Polkadot, maybe they, they it opens up like a second faster than it would without us, but that second matters and people care about it. So the whole user experience is better because Anchor's integrated. Okay, so can you dive into that a bit more since you're saying it's compatible with like, you're a layer zero, it's compatible with any layer one. And so what is the mechanism that makes it faster? So blockchains need a network of servers to run their nodes all around the world so that people can access it. And Anchor runs that network of servers. So we, we are an infrastructure layer to infrastructure companies. Mm. And that's why we're like a layer below them even because we're helping them do their thing. Uh, on our network, right? And so we run our own bare metal servers. Uh, we do it in more locations around the world than anyone else. Um, and we run like the highest grade bare metal servers with our own profiles that allows us to work faster than AWS a lot of times. Oh, uh, wonderful. And, and so most people know like, a, you know, Alchemy or Block Daemon or some of these other companies, like Anchor started a little bit later, but we've caught up and, and covered most of the, uh, you know, the gap. And now we're the leader in RPC, which is what this, uh, how it's defined in, in these developer ecosystems. We call it an RPC service. Okay, I see what you're saying. So you're providing basically the decentralized servers to run the blockchain. Is that, yes. Did I get that? Yes. Okay. And so you'll hear about blockchains being like decentralized clouds or like decentralized this or decentralized that. And we're, we're, we're basically like a, uh, we're a provider of infrastructure, but we run a decentralized platform of multiple providers in our provider platform. We're just one of the providers in our platform. And so we, we call this a decentralized RPC. And we're one of the providers in there. And so basically when you go to the Polkadot blockchain, uh, you know, you go through one of these RPC endpoints and then when it hits that, it goes to whichever node cluster or server is closest to it, allowing people to get the fastest uh, node operator for what they're trying to do. So it's optimization at like both levels. I yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. It's, it's optimizing their blockchain. Uh, and so that whole thing is we call it the Anchor Network and that Anchor Network runs on the Anchor token. Um, and one of the cool things that we launched uh, we announced it yesterday, but we launched it tomorrow, is that if you own the Anchor token now, you'll be able to stake it to that Anchor network. And kind of like people normally stake on validators, you'll be able to stake on the node operators on the consensus layer and earn rewards as those node operators are earning rewards on our network. The Anchor token holders now can also earn rewards on it. So that's the utility now. So basically, if you own the token and you stake your token, um, so how does staking the token help the tokenomics of the system? So like in the background, are you guys are building things and you're investing, you're doing, so maybe go into so, that a little So bit. we have, a, on Anchor's network, we have around 350 nodes around the world, right? And so when you stake your token, you're staking to one of the node providers that's running these, these nodes. Mm -hmm. And if they're a good actor and they're doing good things, they earn fees, and then you share in those fees with them, with those node providers. Uh, and so, I don't, we don't know the exact percentage, but I would say probably around like 15% of Web3 runs on Anchor right now. We expect that number to continue to increase as we have the, the only decentralized RPC in the industry. And so we start off as a centralized service, just like a, you know everyone else is centralized, Alchemy, Block, Damon, Quick, Node, you, you name it, all the other infrastructure providers. But we've become the first uh, like enterprise-grade decentralized RPC service. And so ideally, we think everyone ends up working in this network. 
Anchor earns a small fee on all this stuff, and if you stake to Anchor, you can earn a small fee across all of Web3 as well. I see, since you're working with different blockchains, essentially. Yeah, and it doesn't really matter which blockchain wins. It's a bet on the entire industry, really. Uh, you're not staking to a validator, and so, like, you, you know, we don't, you know, do that whole part of it with that L1. It's a whole own thing on a node uh, infrastructure on the consensus layer. So this is the first time ever in the entire history of the industry that people could stake tokens to a, a consensus layer mechanism, which is pretty neat. It's a completely new innovation. Yeah, I haven't. I mean, I haven't heard of that before, so it's interesting to know about it. I'm sure, like in the Web3 world, like I'll have to even learn more about it as well, yeah. because you can't run anything without a node. And if you're saying you're helping nodes run, well, then. We are, we are the grease that makes the nodes run, run there faster. You go. There you go. Yeah. Well, that's good. And then the, the other thing we do, so that's like I'd say 75% of our business, and then we have another large chunk of our business, which is providing uh, liquid staking to chains. So we have a lot of staking on our, our, our chain as well. We've, we've built out the liquid staking infrastructure. We're the first on Ethereum, Avalanche, Phantom, BNB chain. Uh, and so most people know like Lido for Ethereum, but we actually were there first. We just, they built a much better business, to be honest with you. Uh, on it, so I think we're like third or fourth now for liquid staking on Ethereum. But we provide this basically liquid staking SDK infrastructure so that mm -hmm. any DApp developer can build liquid staking things on any chain and it still goes through Anchor's uh, system. And all of that revenue by the end of the year will also start to move through the protocol and through the Anchor network as well. So it's like a network effect at the end of the day because of all yeah. you're building. So. Yeah, we are exactly. We're just like the core you know, base layer and people keep on building on top of it and we provide some of the best tech in the industry. And as the industry grows, more people build on us and more network effect there is. Yeah, I see. So basically what you're saying is like, the, like people, like I mean, since you're doing it like at an industry level, like on a retail level, the way that people can interact with your network is by owning the coin and staking the coin and then observing like how you're growing within the industry since you're covering, so, you're working with so many businesses essentially, right? Yeah. We, uh, I, you know, very few companies in the space work with as many people as we do. We're not an exchange, you know? So people only work with us because we provide great technology and we work with, uh, we're the main partner for BNB Chain, for Phantom, for Polygon, for Arbitrum. Uh, when Ethereum moves to proof of stake, you know, which will hopefully be pretty soon, we think we might be the biggest winner of this whole thing because most of that, we're, we're arguably like top three, maybe top one in proof of stake right now as far as like what the fastest running node operator is. And so as Ethereum moves there and the whole industry moves back to Ethereum, uh, we stand to gain a lot from that traffic. Wonderful, well thanks so much for this. I feel like I've learned so much. I still have to process it, but I think it's amazing.